All right, making a video. Very behind, very late. Very, very uh, nagging work duties. Excellent, beautiful, lovely day. Really hate having to work. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm way late. Uh, shit. All right, politics, I guess. I decided, yeah, I probably will make a, a politics group page, and we'll see. You know, because every now and then somebody says something semi-political. Sorry about the sun. Um, and so, uh, yeah, there should be some effort to organize that. So Professor Anton is looking like he wants to engage Stephbot, which I, you know, it's probably a good idea on some of these issues. But, I mean, his end conclusion of, you know, anarchy is just so stupid <laughs> that there's nothing really to argue with there. It doesn't go anywhere. Uh, you have to have some state. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just, especially in a world with technology, um, because you have to have some capacity to, uh, I mean, control somebody's uh, ability to fuck you up way too badly and way too easily. Uh, so anyway, uh, you know, who wants to be painting mobs all over the place? That's the other flaw in it. It's just idiotic. Uh, mafios. Osos. Fighting with each other. Uh, sorry about the crunching leaves. Lots of them. I don't see a whole lot of color yet, though. So, but man, what a great day if there was a little bit more of it. Uh, damn. Oh, too much to do. Anyway, um, too tired. But now I'm awake. I overslept. Anyway, all right, politics. Uh, you know, it's, it's just it's so irritating because this is one place where you just can't, people just keep doing this simplification thing. And they don't understand mechanisms at all. And so they just blame some one thing and say that's the problem. And it's just not the problem. Uh, and it's just nuance and subtlety. Uh, you know, that uh, you, if you look, you can find the real problems where the corruption is allowed to get over hand, oh, out of hand. The little, just the little things. Uh, you know, simple policy changes that make huge differences. Uh, so anyway, I mean, it's like cutting capital gains tax. <laughs> you know, the non-working man's tax. The ultimate non-working man's tax. You know, it's a way to stimulate the economy. That's a way of stimulating useless, wasted labor. Uh, you know, indulging the rich man's uh, lifestyle improvement. <laughs> I mean, it's just so stupid. Uh, so anyway, let's not get into that. Um, they never worked in his life, rich man, to boot. Uh, so anyway. Um, yeah, so Abbott brought up the instant runoff voting thing. And that was good, but it's not enough. Uh, he, he didn't even, I don't think, explain why the Electoral College exists. It was a bargaining chip to get states to join the union. Uh, give them more power, the little states, and uh, then they'll play ball. Um, and yeah, in this current context, it's a horrific abuse because of the diversity of population densities. Uh, you're taking away one man, one vote, and replacing it with uh, people in Alaska have 30 times the vote of a person in California. Uh, because it's the Senate that will decide, you know, the three branches of government, the Congress, <laughs> the Senate, and the President, are going to decide. So I guess there's four branches, really. Anyway, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I mean, you go through each one of these subjects, and the whole problem with the judiciary is no accountability. Uh, the whole problem with cops is no accountability. These are public servants. They should be on the highest standard of accountability. Their punishment should be swift and decisive. Uh, there should be zero tolerance for um, any breaches of the law. If you're going to be a law enforcement officer, yes, but you're going to have to obey the law. Uh, that's the way it works, or you're not going to have the job, and you might go to jail. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, and then everything else government officials do, there should be no 
there should be no private work areas. <laughs> um, you know, when you're doing your job, that should all be the public's business. All these secret meetings, and secret wheels and deals. Fuck you. I wouldn't even let them have phones. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Um, yeah, but it's not the nature, it's not the government. It's a bad idea. Uh, to some extent, uh, incentive economics, you know, creating incentives for people to improve themselves isn't a bad idea. But yeah, if you put it in the hands of corporations, it's going to be a bad idea. And the only thing that ruins, I mean, the thing that decisively ruins corporations is the lack of accountability. Uh, you know, they, they did this, you know, incorporation thing. I'm a citizen, but I'm not a citizen. Because unlike citizens, I'm not accountable. Uh, but, uh, at least in the extreme. Uh, yeah, it's just they gave them an instrument where they can invest money, but they didn't have full liability. So you could invest your stock money in a racket, reap a profit, and when the racket was revealed, you'd get to keep your profit. Now, that doesn't make any sense. That's insane. If you finance the racket, uh, that's essentially being a driver at the uh, bank robbery. You're still accountable for what went on inside the bank. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so there's a huge flaw, glaring and obvious. Uh, you know, this, this whole oppression of people thing, this whole exploitation thing, has been with us forever. And it's a, a natural outcropping of anything called anarchy. That's what built the First Nations, was anarchy. Allow one man to get as powerful uh, as he wishes or can manage to through murder and mayhem. Uh, buy yourself an army and then take over the world. Uh, you know, so that's just no solution. Is you've got to have systems in place that uh, demand accountability for behavior and can do something to weed out the behavior that's undesirable, that doesn't do humans any good. Uh, so, let's see, where else to go with this? Um, and, and at this point in history, it doesn't, sort of this, this does matter, but it doesn't matter because the system is going to fail. There's too much debt. So the super rich are going to have to wipe out most of the think they're richers uh, because, you know, some of that debt has to be wiped out. A big hunk of it. And obviously the uh, anything called a middle class or a worker is going to pay the freight uh, for the readjustment, the you know 1939 readjustment that's coming 29. Uh, so that ain't going to work. Uh, where was I? Yeah, but like I said, you don't need, you don't need a complex system. You just need one that's engineered to do the job. And we keep engineering systems that uh, people keep accepting systems based on fallacies that rich people create jobs. I mean, it's just such a silly notion. Rich people decide who will have a job, but they do not, they do not create demand. Demand creates jobs. And how you serve that demand can be decided by a bunch of rich people, or we the people can decide to serve that demand. But it doesn't matter. You can have people making huge profits serving that demand, or you can have people, or you can have the wiser decision <laughs> to have workers make a fair wage serving the demand. Like public libraries, for example. Uh, those are the models we have choices of. And, uh, Hey. Tomorrow even nicer. <laughs> yeah, let's hope, right? Uh, so yeah, there's, there's different ways you can do anything. And you can do it the smart way, you can do it the stupid way. Uh, but the stupid way is to think you're going to get somewhere good uh, through freedom. Freedom is an idiotic word. 
nothing good happens through freedom. All right, if the axle on your car has the freedom to break in half, you're not gonna like what's gonna happen. Uh, if your refrigerator has the freedom, uh, you know, to start fusing atomic uh, particles, you're not gonna fucking goddamn like the result. Um, so yeah, the freedom is bullshit. You need a game structure. It's a game, you dumb fucks. Right. I mean, uh, sorry, but man, it's just so irritating. All these things, all systems are basically games. You can reduce them to games. You understand what's good gameplay, what's fair gameplay. It's like the inheritance argument can be unraveled so easily by just imagining another scenario and apply the same kind of idiotic rules. Imagine a horse race where some horses inherit <laughs> the right to start the race halfway down the track. Who the fuck is going to be bothered? It would be idiotic. Uh, you know, well, and, uh, and then imagine a race. You can see you take your little kitties to the park. And uh, yeah, some of the kids are way up there. And some of the kids are way back there. Uh, before they blow the whistle. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you know, what's the incentive there? Why, why should some kid wear himself out or blow up his guts fighting to win? when failure is guaranteed. I mean, what a farce. And, uh, you know, just as, and it's just as obvious that uh, Stefan Molyneux's insane, you know, let people be their guide, uh, let them make up for the rules, Calvin Ball, whatever, you know, comic strip joke, but uh, yeah, it ain't gonna work. You can't make up the rules as you're playing the game. Uh, you got to engineer them. Uh, you can't let every individual decide what game they're going to play. Because guess what? Some asshole is going to play the I'm going to put a pig farm next to your house game. And it's going to piss you off. And you're going to kill the fucker. <laughs> I guarantee you. In anarchy, uh, he shows up, you're going to kill him. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to want to be living next to a pig farm. Trust me. No fucking way. Not unless you live six miles underground and never breathe the air. You know, unfiltered air. But anyway. So, whatever. I mean, politics, all, argue, all subjects seem futile because people are just such idiots. They can't identify a problem. They can't understand anything. That stupid fuck you guy, whatever his name is, yeah, I made some comment in my last video about voting. It's not voting that's broken. It's our choices that's broken, you idiot. I mean, it's just so fucking stupid. I make a clear statement. The fucking protesters should be working on coming up with a candidate for people to vote for. Even a bad one. Just to have something to vote for. Just to have something to rub in their noses. And you have to make an argument to that? There's no rational argument to that, jackass. All right? I mean, you're just such a stupid fuck. Uh, shove your anarchy up your ass and drop the fuck goddamn dead. I mean, it's just too fucking stupid, you dumb cunt. Ugh. I'm just so sick of jackasses. But everything, it's always these naysayers, these nitpickers, these, these fuckwits that are the human fucking race. And, uh, so the truth of the matter is you're all too fucking stupid to have a civilization. Bottom line, you can't get rational ever. So, fuck you.